The muscular triangle is one of the four subdivisions of the anterior triangle of the neck. It's sometimes also called the omotracheal triangle. Calling it a triangle is really a bit of a lie, because it's actually got four sides. But let's roll with it. Today we'll cover its boundaries and contents in detail. If you've not already watched my video giving an overview of the anterior triangle of the neck, I suggest you check it out now, as it will give you a nice overview which will help in understanding this video. The superior border of the muscular triangle is the hyoid bone. The superior lateral border is the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle. The inferior lateral border is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. And the medial border is an imaginary line running down the midline of the neck. In the floor of the muscular triangle lie the remainder of the infrahyoid muscles, giving it its name. These are the thyrohyoid, sternothyroid, and sternohyoid muscles. Important contents of the muscular triangle include the lateral lobe of the thyroid gland, which lies behind the aforementioned muscles, and two posterior parathyroid glands, which accompany the thyroid on either side. Important veins in the muscular triangle include the superior, middle and inferior thyroid veins, which drain the thyroid gland, and the anterior jugular vein, which originates higher up but passes down the anterior neck, going through the muscular triangle on its way. The two major arteries in the muscular triangle are the superior thyroid artery, which comes in just underneath the omohyoid muscle, and the inferior thyroid artery, which enters the triangle very deeply behind the thyroid gland. There are a number of anterior cervical lymph nodes that lie superficially within the triangle. And lastly, most textbooks also consider the trachea, larynx and esophagus to lie in the deepest part of the muscular triangle. And there you go. That's the borders and contents of the muscular triangle of the neck. I have videos covering all subdivisions of the anterior triangle of the neck, so if you haven't seen them yet, I suggest you go and check them out now. In the meantime, I hope you learned something and have a great day.